It's been six months since Samsung released the first Galaxy Watch Active, and now we have the Galaxy Watch Active 2. This adds an ECG monitor, 4G LTE connectivity, and the rotating bezel makes a comeback. They've also added a 44mm model to the lineup. I'm Corey Gaskin with Digital Trends. Let's dive into this new smartwatch. Samsung wants this watch to be small, sleek, and powerful, and the first two are immediately apparent. It's a lightweight, comfortable device to wear that doesn't look much different from its predecessor, still straddling the line well between a fitness wearable and a smartwatch. The 44mm variant, in addition to the 40mm version, both have 20mm watch bands, and neither look too out of place on my medium-sized wrists. You also have three color options in pink gold, aqua black, and cloud silver, in addition to the stainless steel model reserved only for the LTE version. Both of these displays are covered in Gorilla Glass DX+, which is optimized for screen clarity and scratch resistance. In our short time with the devices, they both looked really good under any lighting circumstances we could put them in, but of course we'll need to do deeper testing to really see what that's like. You also have 5 ATM water resistance, which means that you can track swims in water as deep as 50 feet, or if you're not a swimmer, at the very least you can know that you can get this watch wet and not have to worry about it. The Active 2 also adds an ECG monitor, which can detect irregular heartbeats and other conditions, but you absolutely should not use this in place of medical grade equipment. In fact, you can't use it at all at launch because this feature is still in research. Hopefully this feature comes sooner than later, but it's hard to tell when this might be actually implemented. On the original Galaxy Watch Active, a blood pressure monitor was also announced, but that feature was also in research and has yet to make it to the device up until now. It would be pretty disappointing to have two features to never make it to the same device, so I'm holding out a little more hope that the ECG monitor actually makes it in a timely fashion. Smartwatch battery life can range from a day to a few weeks depending on the type of watch that you have. The original Galaxy Watch Active had a battery life of about one to two days, but the Watch Active 2 might bump things up a bit with bigger batteries. The 40mm version bumps things up from 230mAh to 247, while the 44mm version bumps things all the way up to 340mAh. Hopefully this can have a meaningful impact on the one to two day battery life we saw on the original. And the rotating bezel's back, but you're not gonna see it though because it's actually digital now. This functions as an edge gesture to scroll through the OS just as the physical rotating bezel used to. Haptic feedback helps to keep this interaction tactile and satisfying, but I am a little worried about using this in the rain or if I'm sweating hard during a workout. Plus, having physical buttons tends to be easier when you're bouncing around running or cycling during a workout. So this is something we'll definitely keep an eye on in the full review but kudos to Samsung for bringing back a very beloved feature and still keeping this design minimalist and easy to use. There's some new app integrations on the software front. First, there's Twitter, which allows you to scroll through your newsfeed, like and retweet posts, and it's actually kind of a cool way to kill a few minutes without taking out your phone. Next is a YouTube integration, which allows users to browse and watch YouTube videos on their watch. Not exactly a feature everybody was dying to see, but nevertheless, it's there and seems to work relatively well. Perhaps most useful is the Google Translate integration, which allows you to speak into the watch to translate phrases and then physically turn around the text to show to the person you might be speaking to. This seems to work well enough for small phrases, especially if you're in a bind somewhere and might actually really need it. Samsung's also added a neat little feature called My Style. This lets users take a picture of the outfit that they're wearing and generates a unique watch face based on the colors and patterns that they're wearing. It's a neat feature that generates some cool looking watch faces that actually complement the outfits quite well. On the fitness side of things, Samsung's also upgraded the tracking sensors, adding four more light sensors with a heart rate monitor for a total of eight, and increasing accelerometer sensitivity from 16 Gs to 32. We haven't yet been able to test this much, but it should increase tracking accuracy and could potentially add more automatic tracking modes down the line, but as of right now, it doesn't add any new features. Of course, to many, the biggest new addition is 4G LTE connectivity. This allows you to leave your phone at home and still receive phone calls and text messages while you're on the go. This will require a monthly plan with your carrier, but it might be worth it to leave your phone at home while you're exercising. With the 40mm version costing $280 and the 44mm version costing $300, it's becoming increasingly hard to justify spending more than this on a smartwatch. The LTE version's pricing will be announced at a later date by the carriers who are offering it, but if you're an Android user who's feeling burnt by the lackluster Wear OS experience, then the Watch Active 2 might be your next best option, especially if you want 4G LTE functionality though you still might want to consider Mob Boy's 4G LTE Tick Watch Pro. The Active 2 is compatible with iPhones, but Apple users will find more app integrations and support with Apple Watches, somewhere where Samsung may always lag behind, not to mention the already live ECG functionality of the Apple Watch. Still, if Samsung can continue to make up ground here, then they may have a real contender with the Galaxy Watch Active 2. 
Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure you check out digitaltrends.com for more tech stories.